Yeah. Guess who's back for more upgrades on his Audi R8? This guy. All right here. <laughs> As if the audio system wasn't enough for him from our last video we did where we completely transformed the audio system on this V10 R8. He finally decided that he couldn't do without CarPlay. He had to change the head unit. So all that originality stuff we talked about before, out the window. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of putting it. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. That's better than any R8 out on there on the road. Bold statement. Yeah. I like it because we've worked on it. So. Yeah. <laughs> and here he is just doing some filming because we've just got it in the workshop now and we've just started. Simon's taking the radio out of the dash. Taking uh, the sub out. Oh, yeah, look. All to fit a radio, he's now got to take that beautiful masterpiece out. Don't worry. Well. I've already apologised for the fact that we're doing this in two stints rather than doing it all at once. I'll be honest, I did kind of have a thought in the back of my head that you might do this because function is so important in the car when you're driving. I think having the chargers, having the amazing sound system, being able to listen to whatever I want, but still having to operate everything through my phone. And also awesome. finding somewhere where you put your phone to position it anyway. Oh, which is impossible in this car. So I literally will have it in the passenger seat. And if I come up to a red light or like when I park up, I like will plan what I'm listening to and I'll just have to let it run. Yeah, but with Apple CarPlay, obviously everything's done through that screen there. And simple things like, for example, once you do this, you'll actually have the ability to, on the steering wheel, just simply skip a track for the song you don't like listening to. Whereas before, because you would obviously Bluetooth stream it through the factory radio, you would have to touch your phone just to skip a track, which I think the big it's illegal. Yeah, the biggest thing as well with this screen that's already come out is it had zero relevant information. Like the radio barely worked. I think I got one or two channels. CD, SD card, completely useless. Also, that the SD card I think only handled two gig, two gig max. Yeah, you yeah. You try and find a two maybe, gig maybe card two, now. Maybe two, five, six MB. Yeah. <laughs> Mega price. <laughs> Remember those days? <laughs> I never used nav. No. Info is completely pointless. Yeah. And car, I think, I don't even know what car did. I think I just gave you things like uh, MPG and... Nah, definitely, and basically, definitely don't, didn't. Don't need to, don't, don't <laughs> Not on this know. one anyway. Well, you don't <laughs> want to know that anyway, do you? you know how bad the fuel is. But the thing is, anything on, any useful stuff that you do have on those anyway, because we've done enough changes on these cars, it comes up on the centre cluster between the clocks anyway. The only thing that this car was useful for, or this screen was useful for, was the reverse camera, but... Oh, we'll keep that. Yeah. We'll keep that working on the new Sony, what's going in. Which, let's talk about what you have having fitted. Yes. Ignore the fact it's on his car. This man told me to put it down here. Well, we that, wouldn't, this wouldn't be normal practice. It's actually just covering up the bird poop. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> convenient. <laughs> You've got the new Sony going in. It's the brand new model. It. Yeah, please. This came out about, I don't know, a couple of months ago. Maybe a little bit longer. It's hard to remember exactly, depending on when these videos go out. Brand new one from Sony, which gives you wireless CarPlay. So no need to yes. plug your phone in. And Literally. the weight saving. Oh, right, yeah, that's an addition. Bonus. You're thinking about yeah. performance. Cars. Look at the back of that. It's actually a lot bigger and heavier than that unit, actually. Power to weight. <laughs> Every cloud, right? Yeah. <laughs> Quite a nice looking finish, the Sony, because you've got like a, a, rather than like gloss buttons, you've got like a matte finish. Which, which is, is the same as that. So. Yeah, same as that. Even the screen's got a, like a matte cover on it, which basically, like you said earlier, actually, it reduces fingerprints. Yeah. And more commonly, actually, it's designed to give you less glare when you're driving down the road in sunny, sunny conditions. And they think about these things. I think my cameras have got the same. Yeah, yeah more than likely. So. Well, yeah, that's why we went for Sony, actually, because you Everything said- Everything I have. You, did rec you said recommend me something. I went for Sony purely because, obviously, in my opinion, the sound quality is actually really good on these. Phenomenal, actually, out of the box. But obviously, then you replied and said, actually, I've got Sony everywhere, so it's quite fitting. Cameras, photo, video, everything, other than GoPros is-, yeah. is When I spoke to the Sony rep about that, he was so happy, because I said, Look, here's a list of what Sony equipment's got. Yeah. He, was yeah. Like, yeah. he was like, it's perfect. It's absolutely yeah. perfect. Yeah, this is going to be super cool. Yeah, and funny enough, the other main thing we do like about these Sony head units, which is going to make an improvement, your audio system we've already fitted will noticeably sound better on that stereo versus that one. Yes, I have no technical knowledge on how that's possible, but I'm very I mean, excited. Even I've got limited knowledge, I just know the facts of things like, you. all we were doing on that head unit was a very low level rubbish auxiliary in, which we converted from the original CD changer port, yeah. and then we had to put a Bluetooth streaming device on top of that to go through that. So you are literally got so many resistive points in the chain, whereas this one, you're going to be able to literally Wi-Fi stream your music, which is actually uncompressed, because we use Wi-Fi or wireless CarPlay, not Bluetooth, yeah. and then it will play music straight from that 
do you want your amplifier? So it, it's going to sound better. Obviously, there's a lot of technical stuff behind the scenes, but that's yeah. in essence what we're talking Fundamentally, about. we're swapping out a 14-year-old source yep. for a brand new one. Yep. And it will look nice because we've gone for a real premium fascia, not the usual off-the-shelf fascias they do for these cars, which have come in quite common last few years on our rates. We've used the one that we've been using for many years from a company up north. Um, I'll give them a shout out shortly in the video, but the fascia looks awesome. We'll yeah. show you that in a sec. Yeah. Well, it's got the sub out. It's out again. Out again. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the fascia right here I just mentioned, all the way from Reese RTA, because in our opinion, he makes the best R8 fascia going. Looks right, doesn't it? I, I look so smart, really smart, because this obviously is removing random knobs that are completely useless on the old screen. It's just clean. It's done really nice. Yeah, and he's even giving me the old aluminium strip here just to fill that void, which just matches a bit of aluminium bit. around the car. Yeah. I and mean, this is plastic. <laughs> oh, is it? Great. <laughs> oh, feels it. Let down. <laughs> but it does match this aluminium, which is actually aluminium. <laughs> and this aluminium. And this bit of aluminium, but not this bit of plastic. <laughs> Thought I'd come down and get a bit of an update on the R8, because we're on day number two. Now, we wouldn't normally do multiple days fitting the double in an R8, okay? They normally did an out in a day, but this one has obviously had a full audio system, which we completed for Paul from Supercars of London couple of months back I think roughly and obviously now we've got to rewire the whole system completely again which basically means running phono leads interconnects the signal cables that run from the head unit to the amplifier so now we've got to basically do our job again head unit is not currently in the dashboard as of yet but I will come back and get a video of that later we've been busy doing things like fitting the DAB aerial which isn't in the normal area on the left there I'm zooming in there so instead we want to give Paul a bit more of a subtle installation so what we've done is we've actually put it up there above the rear view mirror. Now, you can just about notice it there. I'm sure Max will overlay a bit of B-roll showing it from the outside. If I actually get back to the position of where Paul's gonna be sitting, which is roughly about here, headrest height, you can barely notice it, which is kind of the effect we were looking for. Microphone is also in a subtle position just there above the rear view mirror. Again, from the seat in position, it's very subtle, which is kind of what you want in a car like You don't want to have things stuck all over the dashboard in an ideal situation. The reverse camera have obviously hooked up. Down there, in fact, I'll zoom into the amplifier and you can see we put new RCAs in. If you've looked at the other video, you'd have noticed there was a blue RCAs in, which were more of a basic range. We've upgraded these to a higher end Stinger RCA because we want to try and get the signal transfer from that Sony the best it can be. And they run completely opposite ends to the amplifier power cable down the center console to avoid interference. So yeah, I'll be back shortly with hopefully the head unit going in the hole. Well, I just had to quickly grab the camera because I didn't realize Paul has turned up to collect this car because it is all finally finished. He sat inside it with Paul right now having a quick demonstration. The smiles on the face says it all. He looks like he's loving it. I apologize for the attire I'm wearing today, but it is a Monday and the shop is shut and it's my day off. So I literally just put on whatever I could to get in and hand this car over to Paul. In fact, let's go find him, because I think Simon has collared him to show him our crazy loud Astra, actually, while he was here, to show him basically the other end of the extreme, because obviously he's got a Morel audio system in his car, which is more about high car audio quality. This is about more out output. Um, here he is. <laughs> That's why I thought I'd quickly get your video looking at it. I thought you didn't see this thing before. This is the big amp which drives the woofers. In the back there. There's five uh, dry cell batteries under there. It's just, yeah. It is a mobile aspect, really. This is our SPL vehicle. If you haven't seen it before, we haven't actually done a YouTube video on this, so we better get on involved. Don't you? Yeah, we better do one, really, because this video is about the R8. But I thought I'd quickly drop this in here because we all do a video on this soon, because this is obviously our. I don't know what to say about it really. It's it's what just shows what we what we can achieve here at John Cleese Car Audio. Should the budget allow, we can stretch to any extremes, not just about a little head unit in an R8 or a, a Morel audio system in the R8 as well. This is the other end of the scale, which is about sound pressure levels, just trying to get the output as high as possible, but still obviously sound good as well. 
Oh, now I've dragged him away from the Astro. Let's actually show, see what he actually has come here to pick up, <laughs> which is his R8 with a, with a Sony double din. Yeah, it's going to seem pretty quiet now, this system, actually. <laughs> Would you get Why him? You show me that? Yeah, sorry, that was a bad idea. Did it the wrong way around, really. <laughs> that was his idea, not mine. <laughs> Simon's idea. So yes, Paul, this is your Sony <laughs> installed in your Beautiful. in your dashboard, yeah. which is the new wireless one we mentioned earlier. But yeah, it's all been fitted flush. Looks so nice cool. in there. So cool. Factory reverse camera still works. It's all connected. You probably haven't obviously you, you've been used it, but that still works. Doing the DAB area, what we've done is put a nice subtle installation at the top there. So atop of your windscreen is your DAB area. So now you can pick up DAB radio because obviously we know the FM was pretty poor in this car before. <laughs> so now you've got DAB, yeah, now you've got DAB as well. And yeah, wireless connectivity for your phone. Another Sony to add to your list of Sonys. Oh yeah, now you can actually give it a good test actually because yeah. you're taking your car to your next drop-off project, aren't you? Yep, yep, and time to head to Dub Customs. This car is getting You're having a spray job, are you doing? Putting a spray gun. It's going to be like... We're going to play it by here, Okay. But there's a few things that are going to get done. They are the like, top of the list, like get rid of the, the chrome grill at the front, yep. things like that. Um, there we go. Hour and 36 minutes. So yeah, my ETA will be around 2 p.m. So I better crack on. That's all right. Good test of the car play on the way there. Good, good test of the GPS and all the signal on that. Yeah. But yeah. You happy with it? Very happy. This is, it's, it's flush, it's clean. It's still in keeping with the original OEM kind of interior, materials, colouring, everything, but just now up to 2024. And with the audio system, this is without doubt going to be the most entertaining R8 from this generation. And it's better than any R8 out on there on the road. Bold statement. Yeah. I like it because we've worked on it. So yeah. <laughs> it's a good like, statement. In terms of uh, audio and mm. entertainment, it is. Yeah, no, it's, it's one of the best ones we've done, to be fair. Yeah. And you have to give me a bit of feedback on the audio system, because like I said earlier in the video, it will sound better with that Sony, yeah. but you're going to yeah. give it a good two hour run now. So give me some feedback, but you, it's going to oh, yeah. sound better. I know we know it does. The doors, are, the doors are just open, so the car's auto lights have come off, <laughs> meaning that I've now gone back to the light mode on the Apple CarPlay, because it was on dark. Yeah, mode that's before. it. Well, that yeah, shows yeah. the illuminations wired correctly. Yeah. So we've done our job right there. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Real time testing here on, <laughs> on the fly. <laughs> right, I'm starting her up. Cool. That's a wrap! <laughs>